Today, the Roanoke community came together to say their final goodbye to the Roanoke teen. Jacoby Taylor's funeral was held at his former high school. WDBJ7's Patsy Montesinos has the story. Hundreds of community members gathered at Patrick Henry High School's basketball court to grieve and honor a Roanoke teen that was shot and killed in Myrtle Beach. The basketball court, usually a venue for Jacoby Taylor's athletic achievements, became a place of collective sorrow for his funeral on Saturday. Jacoby was a special talent, truly one of a kind. He could do it all on the court. 16-year-old Jacoby traveled to Myrtle Beach for a basketball tournament with his grandmother, Paula Basham. He led his team to a win, scoring 43 points. Hours later, he was gunned down near a boardwalk by the beach. These are trying times, and none of us understand why or how this could happen. His friends and teammates who were scheduled to play with Jacoby on Saturday are struggling to come to terms with the loss. He's just a great person. Always remember. He's just always laughing, you feel me? He yeah. just made sure we always got our head high, just not him. He's a he's just a leader. So like everything cares about us more than so. Yeah. The senseless act of violence has left the community searching for answers and demanding justice. We are standing for justice for Jacoby and every other young black man, young black woman in our city. Enough is enough. Saying goodbye. I love you, bro. Fall in peace. In the same court, they once gathered to see Jacoby play. <laughs> Reporting in Roanoke, Patsy Montesinos, WDBJ7.